The word serpent comes from the Latin ser, meaning to be, and the Latin pens, which means pen or written. It is also the root for pensa, the Latin word for think. Thus, a serpent is one in thought, the thinking man, the writer, or consciousness. Consciousness is the first principle at the heart of the secret Masonic knowledge of the 33 degrees. Why? Because the universe is mental, it is all mind, and the human machinery for this principle of mentalism is this. Look familiar? Along the channels of your spine, there are two main nerves which weave a spiraling ladder-like DNA from the brain to the tip of your spine. An oil called a neurospinal fluid secretion is formed when two naturally secreted fluids, one from the base of the spine and one from the pineal gland in the brain, unite and flow along these channels. The neurofluid secretion originates from the pineal gland, which is shaped like a pine tree, has the structure of a pine cone, and is said to resemble a fully lit Christmas tree when activated and is found in the claustrum in your brain, which is where we get the claws in Santa Claus. However, though the neurofluid is secreted from the pineal gland, the activation, the flip on switch for its secretion, is at the very tip of the spine, buried deep in the earth element of the first red root Muladhara chakra is the original seed of your point of existence, called the first seed of consciousness, the first spark of light, the original God life force, or the serpent seed. The serpent seed, which contains this original God life force, is anatomically housed in this region of the spine, shaped like a vessel, also called the Holy Grail. And what does the Holy Grail contain? The essence of God, or blood of Christ. It is ruled by Mars, the fiery planet of war, and as long as the seed remains unopened, your life force remains trapped and dormant inside the seed, remains in the off switch, and life on Earth will feel like a hellish, never-ending, apocalyptic war where you are in constant defense mode. To release this life force trapped in the first seed of consciousness is a mere thought, because in this mental universe, the mechanisms to flip switches on and off is thought, not yoga, sacrifice, or charity, just thought. The thought which activates the life force trapped in the original seed of life is that the original spark of light, the first seed of consciousness, the original seed of you, your serpent seed, is God. Allowing this thought that it was the light of God that first ignited the spark of you to seep through the consciousness is considered the revelation. All you have lived and experienced has been the divine evolution of this first God seed of you. For God to have this experience of life on earth, for which you are a vessel, and therefore you are simply an avatar of God. Which is why to know God is to know thyself. The revelation that God is you and has been all along, switches on the first original seed or spark of consciousness and breaks the seed open. The original life force of God begins crawling out like the first root of a seedling. Anatomically, in the very tip of the coccyx of the spine, this spinal fluid or original God life force, again housed in this region of the spine, shaped like a vessel, also called the Holy Grail, rises upwards along a channel which makes it coil three times, depicted by the ancients with these two symbols, 
This is the Hindu glyph to represent this rising of the god life force in every human being, which they call the Kundalini. Recognize this symbol? This is the ancient and original glyph for Scorpio. If we turn it on its side, we see this, a mere reflection of the Hindu glyph for the Kundalini. In fact, every one of the original glyphs for the zodiac are based on serpent knowledge. People who read their horoscopes are unaware. They are relying on serpent wisdom. In a future occult secrets revealed, the fallacy and cover-up of the modern-day human and animal zodiac symbols will be exposed. Because if you truly want to know how to read the stars and predict the future accurately, which is doable and is being done to control society already, you need to track the stars like an astronomer because astronomers today are what the ancients called astrologers. It is a misnomer to call today's programmed astrology hippies and Vedic idealists astrologers. The zodiac hints at the true esoteric and hidden knowledge of star reading and predictions because scorpions represent a lone consciousness on the path of awakening. Much like the serpent's fang breaks down the structure of the body, so too does a scorpion's pinch, and so too the truth, as the truth is said to act like a venom that dissolves illusions and bodies of lies. You can clearly see how serpent fangs and scorpion pinches, and by extension, the lion's fang, are used to symbolize the power of truth upon the consciousness. The planets are also said to crawl, or in Latin, serpens, through the sky in a snake-like fashion. From the very tip of the coccyx, the secreted spinal fluid or original god serpentine essence must ascend, be heaved up, which is another word for heaven, back to the temple, up above which is another way to describe the head region in relation to the earthen spinal tip down below. Along the journey upwards, the spinal fluid or God essence must traverse and break down the false constructs and ego-based illusions of the human consciousness. As this God essence traverses the 33 vertebra of the spine, the God essence breaks down the false constructs of human conditioning, incorrect belief systems that have long been disproven and being a slave to your ego, which is socially defined and imposed, therefore making you a slave to society. Consider the following forms of mental enslavement, forbidding gay marriage, and believing being LGBTQ plus is evil, enslaving someone because of the color of their race and saying it's because it's the mark of Cain. The belief that there ever was one original race superior to any other. That skin color is culture when it is a direct link to one's geo-relation to the sun and procreation. These are but a fraction of the fallacies that enslave minds and which the God essence must undo in each of us because each of us must contend against nuanced forms of this human entrapment called an ego which is socially imposed but if it's not your ego, then don't worry about it. Just worry about your own. If society says it is bad, but you feel it is natural, trust your instinct and do bad. Because doing bad is being God. Because God is not society. And until next time, trust and believe that it is okay to be you. The most beautiful you there ever was, there is, and that there ever will be. Because you are not a story that can be told twice. And there will never again be a stage for you to perform but this one right here, right now. So be you. The most beautiful you.